What the heck is up guys, it's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys She Spawn. Let's go ahead and dive right into it starting off with that sexy packaging. Now for the sexy packaging, it is pretty large, mostly because this is probably the most accessories that you will ever get with a McFarlane figure. You got the window right here where you can see the figure and a ton of weapons and things inside. At the top, it does say ages 14 and up, and there's a McFarlane Toys logo up there. Uh, we've got this kind of green fading into a blackish color, which are the spawn color, so it makes sense. Spawn right there, she spawn right there, nothing much going on at the top, at the bottom. All the legal stuff, there's the barcode for you guys that might need it. On the side, we've got an image of her. She looks really nice. I do dig this art. One thing I will say is that Todd McFarlane is a master of art. Uh, also on the side, we have an image of the figure right here. It does say Spawn McFarlane Toys right there. And then on the back, uh, this is what I like the most, man. I love how you kind of have the figure right here and then this wall with graffiti on it and some of the accessories. I am a sucker for art, so this stuff is just cool to me. It does say 22 moving parts, and then, of course, you do have all of McFarlane Toys' social media right there. Go follow them if you're interested in their products. Now, anyway, let's go ahead and dive right into this figure and get this big-ass box out of the way. From the very moment that I laid eyes on this figure, I already knew that I was going to buy it. Not just because of the looks, mostly because of the accessories, but it does have a really great design. And I don't know what it is, man. Todd just... You can tell when someone really has a passion for something based on how they release their products. And just... There's so many things. Accessories, detail, paint, color, all that good stuff. And... While I have been the most critical when it comes to a lot of McFarlane's releases, this is one where I got to say, in terms of just the looks of the figure so far, Todd knocked it out of the park. And we know why. It's Spawn, and he's going to do everything he can to make his Spawn products, if nothing else, look the best. And this figure, man, it just looks beautiful. First off, you got the mask, the Spawn mask painted on her face. Let me shine a little light on that. Um, you got the green eyes. The lipstick looks good. Uh, she's got like a mask on with her hair just flowing out of it, almost like Spawn's cape. I don't know anything about She Spawn. Like I said, I picked this figure up because it's cool. So, um, yeah, for you guys that don't know. But um, overall, just like a really nice look to the face. You got some sculpted wrinkles in the uh, eyes right there or where the eyebrows would be. The hair detail is really nice. You can see like each and every strand of hair. Uh, there's some reds in here, some oranges, a little bit of white to just give it like a, a natural hair look, man. The detail is here. It is here all over this figure, man. And whew, even the, the jacket that she's got on, you've got all kind of like texturing to it. Uh, it's black. For the most part, there's not really any other color in it other than the silver, but uh, it's still just the fact that it has all of this sculpt work put into it, it kind of breaks up that one solid color black and it makes it look like it has some extra grays in it that doesn't come off of these skulls and chains and things that just make this figure pop, man. You got the bullets on here. Um, and then all the way down here, she's wearing like a skin tight outfit, as you guys can see, which is this red, which is my favorite color. Um, and then she's got like this, it's white, but it's also like a brownish look to it. And I'm glad that they didn't paint it like completely white. It almost has like a, like a leather look. I don't know, man, just even based off the sculpting of it, you can see there's, there's sculpt work put into this. And then right here, man, all the way down to the boots, just not a ton of color, but a lot of detail, man. And then freaking the Nalgonas, man. I don't... They went all in, yo. They went all in. in term, if you're looking for a good statue of this character, then by all means, this is it. But who knows? The articulation might be fairly decent. But overall, just a very beautiful looking figure, man. This, to me, is Todd in his prime. And are McFarlane toys in their prime, rather. And I just wish every release didn't just just look good man which I, I don't know I, I wish they all were just like great 
figures all the way around and I hope that this ends up being one but anyway let's put this figure back and see how tall she spawn stands because she is quite large now by now I'm sure everyone knows that other than articulation what Todd lacks in the most when it comes to releasing figures is the height I don't know what it is but the scaling always sucks and this figure to the top of her head is pushing about seven and a half inches. She is seven inches to the top of her head, a little bit over to the top of her hair, and right under seven and a half inches um, just in terms of height. So she's a pretty big figure. And I get it, she's got on heels, but still, man. I, I don't know if she's supposed to be this tall in the comics. You guys let me know, but... Um, if you compare this to any other McFarlane figures, it's probably going to be right around the same size as them. And I'm talking male characters. Of course, I'll be doing some size comparisons a little bit later. But uh, yeah, just so you know, very, very tall figure. Now, moving on to the articulation. She looks up about that much which actually isn't too bad she looks down about that much she does get really good tilt and turn for the hair i will say that they did a good job in terms of her head movement that hair you would think really would restrict it but it doesn't restrict it as much as you would think because it's a very soft plastic so that's awesome in terms of her arm the skull right here is a soft piece so you can get her arms to go up and out pretty far uh much better than i thought that you would um, there, it, it looks like there's a butterfly joint, but you can't really bring her arms all the way in. Most of it is going to come out of the invisible bicep swivel that is there. So you can bring them forward about that much when it comes to shooting her guns. She does have double jointed elbows. Her hands are seemingly, yeah, they're on a hinge. It's just a little tough, but you can move them in and out just fine. So that's good. And then you can rotate them as well. As far as the diaphragm joint goes... You don't get much movement out of it, but it does work. So she crunches forward about that much at the diaphragm back a little bit better. You can, of course, turn her and you can also turn her at the waist. I don't know what it is with McFarlane figures, but they're always very tough at the waist. They can turn, but it's always tough to do it. Now, using the waist, you can get her to crunch forward a little bit more, not too much. And you don't want to rub this plastic because you might end up getting red on this white-ish type color so be careful with that she does seemingly have an inner thigh swivel it's like kind of there but it's not there but it's there so yeah in terms of kicking forward you can lift her foot about that much but don't leave it too long because you're going to stretch that plastic and then it is going to get warped in terms of doing the split she does the splits just fine so that's great um, I was wishing that there was, I don't know, I wish they would add a freaking swivel right there, but whatever. In terms of the knees, she does have double jointed knees that are very effective, so that's cool. Foot goes down much better than I thought it was going to. Up a little bit better than I thought it was going to. She does get ankle rocker, and then she does have a toe hinge. So articulation-wise, I'll give it to them. This is passable. It's not going to be able to get in the most dynamic poses but hey this is a woman that uses guns and axes so i don't think you really need to get her in anything extremely dynamic anyway now when it comes to the accessories on this figure i feel like this was mcfarlane finally saying oh hey look what we can do and they actually did something because like i said earlier this is the most accessories i can think of that we've gotten with a mcfarlane figure and while it was a deluxe price of $39.99, I am not complaining because she comes with just her regular trigger finger hands, of course, as every McFarlane figure does. Then she comes with this freaking rifle that looks absolutely stunning. This, I don't know what this is, but this thing, it's some kind of AR, I'm assuming. But as you can see, there's two magazines in there. And then it's like wrapped with bandages to make sure they don't fall out while she's blasting. Um, all the sculpt and detail in this, this freaking AR just looks so good. It's black. It has a black wash in it with some gray. This thing just looks so nice, man. Like, this is freaking awesome. This, and it's not just this one. She also comes with some other kind of AR. Um, I don't know what this is either, but it looks freaking beautiful where I'm guessing this is a magazine. This is a magazine. This is a magazine. She is not trying to run out of ammo. And 
I don't know what it is with this one, but it came with this random chain on it, and you can take it off. Like, it just, it comes off, but it was wrapped around it in the package, and so it just, it had this weird look to it. I was like, that's weird, but you can do whatever you want to do with this. So that's technically another accessory. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but it's there, so I'm not complaining, but still, just, just look at this gun, man. Look at that freaking detail that there is man you guys probably can't even see everything on camera but there's just so much detail in all of these weapons man uh the grays and blacks really just complement this like this just man if this was i don't even know this was just so cool man this is really cool and then of course you can even see more bullets like coming out the side right here so um that's that's just awesome and then for her last gun she also gets a freaking sniper rifle which is taller than her by the way but this thing also just looks really good i don't know how many times i can say that over and over but it does like this is them going all the way in when it comes to accessories and i am all over this i love this a whole lot and that's not even it she also comes with this weird axe um I mean, there it is. You guys see it. All the detail from the base all the way to the top of the weapon. You've still got the uh, red bandages wrapped around it for whatever reason. I don't know. This one is a little flimsy. I wish it was more sturdy. But, um, I mean, you don't have to worry about it breaking when you're putting it in her hands. Um, I don't even know how she's supposed to grip this. But, yeah, this is cool. And then you also get this freaking sword, which... This is probably my favorite because I'm a sucker for swords, but um, not. it's probably the one weapon out of all of them that has the least detail, but it's a freaking sword. It looks like a pirate sword, and I'm all over that type of stuff. I love swords. So, yeah, and she even comes with an extra hand, which Todd never freaking does. Obviously, this is for holding, like, the grip of the weapon for whenever she's getting ready to shoot something, but still, the fact that she came with an extra hand... And he doesn't really do that with any of his other figures. Ever so often we'll get it, but not always. And so this is just loaded with accessories. I'm happy with it. And uh, oh yeah, this stand. Yeah, this don't really matter. You get this with other figure. But yeah, tons of accessories. So great job, McFarlane. They all look beautiful and I'm happy. Now for some size comparisons, I had to dig into some of my 7 inch collection stuff so I could show you just how tall she actually is. I don't have any spawn stuff other than this, I'll tell you that right now. So don't expect to see her next to spawn. But uh, first off, we have this uh, McFarlane Toys War Dude. I don't know who he is, but as you can see, she's taller than him. And then of course we do have a DC Collectibles Batman Arkham Origins Batman and she's taller than him. Now next is some more DC collectible stuff. Here she is standing next to the new 52 Greg Capullo, Nightwing, and Batman once again taller than both of them. Now when you stack her up next to some McFarlane stuff, here's where you kind of start to see that he really is bad at scaling. Unless she's absolutely supposed to be this tall, here she is standing next to a McFarlane Toys Sheik or Shriek and a Devastator Batman. And... I just feel like she is way too tall. Like, I don't think that she should be standing this tall next to a doomsday Batman, even with heels on. I feel like that's just a little bit excessive in my opinion. And so that's why I don't really care for the scale of this figure. I will go ahead and keep it all the way real with you guys. It's figures like this that really showcase how sometimes McFarlane toys can really be in their own lane. Now, 99.9999999999% of the time, that's only when they're making spawn figures. Their other stuff is just always lackluster. It, something is always missing. The figure might look great, but that means the articulation is going to suck. Or the articulation might be great and the figure might suck. And then all around, it's going to lack accessories. That's just kind of what we've grown to expect from McFarlane. And that's not even me diving into the scaling because I've said that so many times. I'm literally blue in the face. But um, when it comes to this figure right here, this is one that I recommend anyone pick up. If you have your eyes set on it, pick it up. As far as I know, this is a Target exclusive. I'm not entirely sure, but um, that's what I think. 
Uh, I got mine at Target for retail, which was $39.99, which isn't too bad for everything that you get. I was more than comfortable paying that price. Now that I have got to pull this figure out and mess with it, I'm even more comfortable having paid that price. Now, that being said, I did notice one thing different about this figure than this figure right here. If you look at this figure, the bang kind of, or not bang, really, it's just her overall hair. It kind of covers the left eye completely. And on this one, it swoops all the way over, kind of like her hair is just blowing out of her face. Now, the reason I mention this is because on this box art image, you can actually see the whole face. On the figure, you can't. So depending on how you have your lighting, if you take photographs, you're not gonna get all of this, which kind of sucks. Now, knowing Todd, and you guys can tell me in the comments, this is probably another figure, I don't know, some gold label edition, where you can get her with the extra swoop in the hair. I don't know if he's done that or not. You guys can let me know in the comments, but uh, I've just seen him do that several times. So I decided to mention it uh, for you guys to let me know. But anyway, overall, that's not a gripe. Well, it is a great, whatever, <laughs> deal with it. But um, anyway, overall, that's my review. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if I was a little too critical, but you guys know how it is, man. Todd has the capability to make great figures, and this really showcases it, man. This is a damn good figure, and I don't say that often, and I wish that I could. Anyway, rant over. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And lastly, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, biggity bye.